It was a good banquet, I thought. Or you got a coronation mug too. Says Viva Verence Oyo Rex. Fancy him being called Rex. <laughs> Can't say it's a great likeness so. I don't recall him having the handle sticking out of his ear. Still, we've got a king and there's an end to it. It's thanks to you and Nanny, really. Why? It's because you spoke up. Everyone knows that witches don't lie. That's the important thing. I mean, everyone can see that they look alike, but that could have just been a coincidence. You see, I looked up, dropped a signature. Could he ever have a dictionary? Yes, well, um... <laughs> You did tell the truth, didn't you? They are brothers, aren't they? Oh yes, definitely. I saw to his mother when, young, <coughs> when the king was born, and to, young, to the queen when young Tom John was born, and she told me who the father was. Just a minute. Oh, you remember the fool's father? Very personable young man. Didn't get on with his dad, but he still used to visit sometimes, to see old friends. Mm, he made friends very easily. Among the ladies. Mm. Very athletic, wasn't he? You climb walls like nobody's business. I oh, remember Erin. <laughs> Very popular with the Queen. Mm, and the King used to go out hunting such a lot. It was that great of his. Always out and about with it, he was. <laughs> Just a minute. You told everyone that they were brothers and that Varens was the older. That's right. And you let everyone believe that. We're bound to be truthful, but there's no call to be honest. No. <laughs> what you're saying is that the King of Lanka isn't really the king at all. What I'm saying is, we've got a king with his head screwed on right, and the king's ghost has been laid to rest happily. We've had an enjoyable coronation, where some of us got mugs we weren't entitled to, being for the kiddies and all. <laughs> <laughs> and everything turned out nice and neat. Never mind what should have been, or ought to have been, or could have been. It's what things are that matters. But he isn't really the king. Oh, well, he might be. The queen wasn't very good at counting. And besides, he doesn't know he isn't royalty. Look at it this way, royalty has to start somewhere, and it might as well start with him. How are you and him getting along now, by the way? All right. I'm surprised at you two. I really am. You're witches. That means that you're supposed to, to care about things like, like truth and destiny. Ah, that's where you've been getting it all wrong. This means important, but people think it controls them. It's the other way around. Bugger destiny! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you didn't think being a witch was going to be easy, did you? I am learning. We better be getting off. It's getting light. Me too. Our shawl frets when, she's not, when I'm not over and she brings me my breakfast. When shall we three meet again? I'm a bit busy this month, birthdays and all, you know. Oh, that's nice. How about you, Magrat? There always seems to be such a lot to do at this time of the year. Don't you think? Quite. There's no point getting tied down to appointments. Why don't we leave the whole question open, shall we?
we could please have our lovely directors. Uh. <laughs> And our stage manager, Jan, come to the stage.